Hi! Introducing TabI Core, a revolutionary open source framework to easily and efficiently create, manage, and execute your data pipelines. We'll be going through the main concepts of TabI Core, such as data nodes, tasks, pipelines, scenarios, and configurations. So, let's get started with data node. Here is the interface of TabI Studio. On the left hand side, you'll find the tabs for config file, data nodes, task, pipeline, scenario, and most importantly, the parameters of a tab by core object. Let's start with data node. A data node is one of the most important concepts in tab by core. It does not contain the data itself, but it holds all the necessary information to read and write the actual data. It can be seen as a data set descriptor or a data reference. In TabPy Studio, a data node is presented as a blue box with two ends, in and out. You can add a new data node by simply clicking on the first icon on the right of TabPy Studio and choose the name for the data node. You can also specify the storage type of the data node under the Details tab. And depending on the storage type, you can, you can specify the default value for the data node. Let's now talk about task. In simple terms, a task links to a Python function to achieve a specific goal in their pipeline. A task can be as simple as cleaning data or even creating a machine learning model. In type by core, a task takes input and generate outputs, which are represented as data nodes. These data nodes can be further used in the pipelines as inputs for other tasks. For instance, Imagine you are working on a project where you want to train a machine learning model to predict sales. In this case, you may want to create a task that process the initial data and clean it. You may also want to create another task that trains the model using a machine learning algorithm. So let me just quickly add two sample data nodes as input and output. Let's now add a new task by clicking on the second little icon over here. A task is presented in a red box so let's say the task name is my task. You can link your data node to the task by simply dragging a line from the data node to the task. Like this. You can also have multiple inputs and output data nodes for a task. Type by Studio will automatically scan through your Python files in your current project to search for functions that can be used for a task. You can do so by simply clicking on the task and navigate to the details tab. Then edit the functions section. Let's now move to the most important concept in tab by core, pipeline. As you can tell by the name, a pipeline is a series of connected steps or tasks that can help you to achieve a particular goal. It can be thought of as a sequence of actions that you take to complete an operation. What's really important for TabPy Core Pipeline is a smart built-in management feature and how pipelines can be executed in parallel by TabPy Core. Let's first add a pipeline by clicking on the third icon over here. As you can see, a pipeline is shown as a green box. You can connect one or multiple tasks to a pipeline, and pipelines are not necessarily disjoint. Let's now take a closer look at this pipeline that I've just set up. The output from the first task in the pipeline can be seamlessly integrated into the input for the second task, resulting in a highly efficient and streamlined process. By enabling pipelines to link and communicate with each other, it greatly reduces the configuration time and simplifies the management of tasks and data nodes within a pipeline. Here's an example of a real use case for two connected pipelines the sales pipeline and production pipeline. This is from the Type by Core official documentation. As you can see, the sales pipeline and the production pipeline are connected through the sales prediction data node. With Type by Core, tasks in different pipelines are automatically recognized and executed in a logical sequence, ensuring that the production pipeline always runs after the sales pipeline has completed. In cases where two pipelines are disjointed or have no commonalities, 
Chat by Core provides the option to run them in parallel, improving performance and scalability. Let's now talk about the final important concept for Chat by Core, scenario. A scenario in Chat by Core is a way to group together one or more pipelines to solve a specific business problem or to apply a set of custom parameters to your pipeline. This makes it easy to organize your data processing logic and execute multiple pipelines at once. It's also important to pay attention to the scope of a data node. By default, a data node scope belongs to the scenario that it's linked to. This means that you can set up an initial data node and reuse it with multiple scenarios, while still being able to access the data node generated or modified for each individual scenario. To add a scenario in Chatbite Studio, simply click on the rightmost icon and enter the chosen scenario. A scenario is shown as a gray box in Chatbite Studio. You can then link the scenario to one or multiple pipelines by dragging the little box in the representation of your Chatbite Studio of your scenario. So, if you want to execute one or multiple pipelines, make sure to set up a scenario and link it to the pipelines. With Chat by Core, it's easy to stay organized and efficient with your data processing. We hope that this concept video has been helpful for your next Chat by project. If you haven't already, you can easily install TypeBy by entering pip install TypeBy into your Python environment. Cheers!